Hey guys, and welcome to Should You Buy It, where all we do is talk a little bit about the game and whether or not we think it's worth the cost. In this episode, we'll be playing Starbase, the MMO open world survival building game where you and your robot community will have to work together in order to both explore and survive in the vast universe. So the first question that we always cover in these videos is what stage of development is the game in? And in this case, Starbase is currently in alpha early access and available on PC for $35. So I'm going to start out by being really honest with you guys. Starbase is both an amazing and a horrible game all at the same time. This is due to many reasons, but let's start out by talking about what makes this game so great. When you first spawn in in Starbase, you will be given a short tutorial that will walk you through some of the very basic mechanics of the game. Currently, this includes things such as how to mine, how to take apart a ship, and how to repair a ship. One thing that you do need to keep in mind with this game is that everything is significantly more complex than it seems at face value. Just as an example here, let's talk about the ship repair. You see, ships in Starbase have so many parts and are so complex at times that it is often not as simple as replacing a broken beam or even a generator that was destroyed in a crash. You will tend to find that instead not only was the generator destroyed, but also the cables, pipes, and bolts that connect to it. The best part is that this means if a single part of your ship is not connected right, then your ship will not run properly. This serves as both a blessing and a curse for the game. This is because a new player who damages their ship may find themselves either stranded or having a large amount of difficulty figuring out why their ship isn't working properly as there is just so many things that can go wrong. Now as far as it being a blessing, it allows for significantly more in-depth shipbuilding than say something like Space Engineers or Imperion. The shipbuilding in Starbase is really where the game shines the most. You see, the shipbuilder is very complicated and a bit difficult to learn, but once you understand how it works, you will most likely fall in love. The shipbuilder, of course, has some clear-cut rules that you must follow, but other than those, it is extremely open-ended and you can build yourself just about any ship or if you're like me, really, really fast spinny chairs that you just might happen to desire. The editor has so much depth to it, in fact, that we simply can't go into it in this video, or it would be over an hour long. So I highly recommend that you guys check out our series on building your first ship at the end of the video, either in the description below or in the end screen credits. Now, if shipbuilding isn't really your thing, don't worry too much as there's always the option to either download other players' ship designs or simply purchase a pre-built one from the in-game shop. The only real downside with this is that you won't be able to customize your ships easily so that it fits your purposes. The other option that you have is the easy builder, but I would recommend that you stay away from that unless you're messing around with your very first ship and just trying to do some small upgrades. So what else is there to do in Starbase? Well, the main gameplay loop consists of you going out to mine and returning home to sell the ore that you have acquired. However, this will most likely not always be the case, as the devs have a lot of content planned, such as capital ships which we should be getting any day now. These ships will allow companies to attack other companies' stations, which will give players another layer of depth to the game. Not to mention the fact that any time you leave the safe zone, there is somewhat of a chance that you're going to encounter another player who is just itching for a fight. With all of that being said, combat is actually rather rare in Starbase because of the sheer size the universe offers. Every player is essentially playing within the same game world, and therefore it creates a vast universe that seems rather populated for its size. If you wanted to, you and your group could go thousands of kilometers from any form of civilization, and you would most likely never encounter a single player once you do so. However, the game tries to prevent players from doing this in a number of different ways. One of which is the simple fact that the only way you can design a ship is in the ship builder, and in order to make the ship you have designed, you must do so at one of the origin space stations. There are many other reasons to go back to them, but the idea here is that they want players to explore, but they don't want you to just never come back, otherwise there wouldn't be a whole lot of player to player interactions. Now, Starbase has a lot more to offer, but unfortunately, there's just no way we would have time to talk about it all in this single video. Therefore, I'm going to just list off some other interesting things about Starbase, many of which we have talked about in our other videos that you can see on the channel. First up is the fact that Starbase has its own programming language, not to mention that Starbase's universe is essentially infinite. 
Third is that you can actually land on moons and interact with them. Fourth is that it has its own research system built into the game. And then last but not least is number five, which is the fact that you get grav boots that will let you run on walls. Now this should be obvious, but there is much, much, much more content that is planned to come out over the next year or two before this game comes out in full release, so we have tons and tons to look forward to. Do note, before we go into the pros and cons, we will not be taking bugs into account as the dev team has done a great job of implementing bug fixes that pop up very quickly, and this is considered to be an alpha stage game anyways. Okay. So now moving on to the pros and cons section for the video. First up for the pros is that there is a huge community drive for this game, and Starbase puts a large focus on doing things as a group while keeping it fun and rewarding for the players at the same time. Next up for the pros is the fact that PvP feels good when it happens. The weapons are satisfying and it genuinely gives you a rush every time you find yourself in a battle. Another great thing about Starbase is the ship building. Without a doubt, this is probably the best part of the game as you have tons of freedom to build your ships in any way that you desire. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that all ships are created equal. After that is simply the fact that the gameplay feels smooth and without lag. Starbase also has lots of things to learn, such as YOLO code and shipbuilding. You could easily take an entire college course on shipbuilding alone and still feel like you haven't really learned everything. And lastly for the pros is that you will experience significant loss when engaging in PvP. This is important as any good PvP based survival game needs loss and reward for winning or losing combat. Let's just put it this way, it feels pretty darn good to destroy a 7 million credit ship that someone had just spent hours designing. Now for the cons. First up is that currently the content gets repetitive rather quickly. At this point in time in Starbase, there is a definite content drought, but we do know the devs will be releasing new things. Just keep in mind, at the current stage, we are missing a lot of aspects of the game, and this causes us to just have a lot of repetitiveness within the content. Next up is that the game is currently pretty difficult to play solo. It is definitely doable, it's not impossible, but you are going to have a lot of trials and tribulations along the way. This game does not make it easy for you not to play with friends, so hopefully you have some you can play with, or if you don't, do consider just going on the Starbase public discord and trying to find a group that you can join. After that is that PvP can be severely punishing as you can lose hours of work that you put into purchasing a ship within a matter of seconds. The combat in this game happens very quickly and ships not built for it will die almost instantly. So just know if you're using a 4 or 5 million dollar ship and it's not made for combat, there's a very very high chance that if you do get caught in it, you are going to lose all that progress. Last but certainly not least here for the cons is that building your own ship without using the easy builder is definitely going to be challenging, at least at first. It takes a very, very long time to get comfortable with the ship editor, and even after using it for 40 to 50 hours myself, I still feel like I'm not an expert with it. So just note that this is going to take some time and investment in learning how it all functions and what you need to know in order to build a ship properly. And now here we are at the rating for the game. And when we rate games, we want to get one hour of enjoyment out of every $1 that we spend on the game. So for this game in particular in Starbase, we would want to get roughly 35 hours of enjoyment out of the $35 that we spent. And after putting over 24 played hours into this game, we give it seven out of 10 potatoes. Yeah, Starbase is honestly a really great game to play as long as you go into it with the right expectations. The reality is that this kind of game won't be for everyone, but that is something that is okay. The game is still in its alpha stage and is missing some vitally important content, but as time goes on, the game is only going to get better. Therefore, if you are looking for a fun and in-depth shipbuilding MMO game to play with a community or with your friends, then we feel it is safe to say that Starbase is definitely worth the cost. Before you guys go, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, as we recently noticed that over 98% of our viewers are not subscribed to our channel. We put out multiple new videos every single week, and your support is what makes this all possible. If you would like to support us even further and get some cool benefits, check out our membership program, which can be found in the join button below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.